All right, Hades Omega here, and I'm doing an unboxing of uh, Aoki Hagane no Arpeggio, a uh, little like it's like a toy box toy set. They're little figures of um, of the ships from uh, Aoki Hagane or uh, Arpeggio of Blue Steel. So there's the box. Takao on one side. Nothing. Just the logo. Oh, this is also uh, for the DC, the the new movie that just came out. Uh, there's Kirishima, and there's Haruna. It's a nice box. So I've already cut the top. It looks like a. These are like you can sell these individually. So. Let's go open it up. I not really I don't really care about keeping the box in good shape. And I ordered this a few weeks ago. So here you go. This is what you get. You get ten. Yes, it looks like ten uh ten figures. Ten toy figures. Here it is, this is what one of them looks like. Um oh. I guess you can't you can't choose what ships you want. It's like a Gashafon figure basically. And they're um according to the box, they're one one twelve fifty scale? Or one two thousand? I don't know, I guess it's either a one twelve fifty or a one two thousand. It's odd. It looks like there are eight I think that means that there's eight different ships and yes indeed there are eight um, sh they're showing eight different pictures in the back um, but there's ten boxes so maybe there are some uh, secret figures or something uh, this cost me about, um, about fifty dollars on uh, Ami Ami I believe as of this movie I'm shooting is still available well, let me see if I can uh, let me, let me, there's just some little perforations here. Let me see what it does to the box. Alright, oh, there's some, also some uh, Iona cover art on the top of the box. I'll have to show that. Uh, I don't know, is there anything on the bottom? Let's find out. No, the bottom is just white. So, this is, if you were to, if you had a store and you were selling these, this is what you would display it like. Actually, that's pretty nice too, because uh, you can see Kirishima and, uh, you see all the characters basically. It's nice. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and pause it here, and uh, I'm gonna open them all up. And I guess if I have some extras, I can just sell the extras. Be cool. So there it is. Aoki Hagane. No arpeggio. I'll show you what one side of the box looks like. Focus. Focus. Okay. So it looks like uh, the I-401. There's the top of the box. It's upside down. There's another picture I-401. I hope they're not all submarine I-401 for subs. Some other stuff. I like the company and all that. And the back. Let's see if we Looks like it comes with a stand of some sort. It's cool. Got the sub girls. Got the, the battleships. All right, so let's get right, opened so up. Basically, you just tear off one of the tops off like that. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Yes. Unfortunately, you can't choose which ones you want. So if you see this inside of a store selling these, you can't pick which one you want. This, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've gotten them all, and hopefully there's some secret figures. Right? That would be cool. uh, yeah, there we go. It's very small. So I think uh, I think this is I four zero one. Yeah. And it, some assembly required. It's a little model, basically. 
comes with a comes with a little manual. So it's it's not even it's not a toy it's a model. <laughs> nice, nice uh, pictures on the Yona. And oh, it comes with a it comes with a very nice base. Look at that. That's the picture that was in the back of the box. Four zero one. Very cool. And. It comes with a candy. All right, Get some gum, and that's it. So that's a typical, typically what you're gonna get when you open one of these. And you get a little clamshell dealy with the with the model kit in it. Surprising! This is the first time I've seen the model kit this small. And it's too bad you can't choose which one you want. It comes with the, it comes with the candy, the stand, the kit with all the sprues and stuff. Um, some other stuff on the back of it too. That looks like the one. F that looks like the Iona from uh from the anime, the regular anime, the TV series. And it comes with a little manual. Let's have it. Very nice, very nice. And box, of course. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and open all of these up. And see what's all in them. Okay, back again. So I, I've created that pile over there <laughs> of empty boxes and such. It's such so wasteful. Anyway, <laughs> so oh, I also want to go over um, on the box. It mentions yes. Now I know what you need to complete this. Some tweezers I, maybe because it look maybe it's kind of small a knife um, some cutters and some glue so it requires uh, glue cutters glue and cutters pretty much and I guess a knife if you want to cut the nubs off so uh, yeah it, it's a real model kit it's a model it's a it's a candy box model kit there you go <laughs> candy box model kit so this is what was in it so I was delighted to see I got both versions of Takao. I got the the blue uh, blue fleet Takao and uh, the fleet of fog Takao. So the red one and the blue one, before and after. So that's awesome. So that was one of the extra fig one of the extra models that was in it. And then I got a I got a Maya heavy cruiser Maya. Submarine I-400, I-402 submarine, and I got two Kirishima, so that's a, that's the extra one. So there's eight total. Oh, that's actually nine. So uh, there you go. That's a secret figure. One of these Takaos is the secret figure, or, you know, either or. Uh, there's a Battleship Haruna, and a Battleship Congo, and uh, I-401. Yona. Uh, is that all of them now? According to this, yes, that is all of them. It has no, yeah, it has no mention of the Takao. So the Takao is the fleet of, no, no, the, the, the blue, the blue Takao is, um, is the, the secret, um, secret uh, model figure thingy. Look at all the manuals now. This is the Takao. Yeah, maybe I'll construct one, or maybe I'll make a video when I construct them all. There's all the specs on the back. Where's the ship? Oh, look, there's a beautiful stand. Uh, if if anything, you know, the um, these stands are great. I like the stands. They have the character. It's nicely printed. It's worth it for the stand. And very small. It'll take up a lot of space. So 
Here's the red Takao Fleet of Fog version. like a stand put that back take a look at the manual real quick there we go doesn't look too hard to build this is an i400 sub Looks like the subs are a lot. Oh no, no, the subs are. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like the subs are easier to build. The subs have two long pieces and not that many. Um, wow, this, now I can understand why it says you need tweezers. Look how small these parts are. Ridiculously small. I also have 1200 scale. So I'm guessing the submarines are the, the 1250 scale. Because they look like they're the same size as the ships, and the ships are obviously they're bigger, and the ships are um, are 1200 scale. So here's a heavy cruiser Maya. What's this? Something else strapped to the back. There's more to it. I don't know what that is. It's like an extra piece or something. So the bigger ships have more parts to it. Yeah, the subs are, are probably the easiest to build. It's I-402. Stand. Kirishima, I have two of these. I'll probably be selling it. The sixth model. There it is. Battleship. Battleship. Kirishima. That's what the plate looks like. Just like the box art. Cool. This battleship Congo. It's Congo. Nice and purpley. It's a battleship, so it's pretty big. Parts in the back, the stand, and that's the Iona. I showed her earlier. I'll show her again, I guess. Battleship Haruna. I like that picture. <laughs> it's one of my favorite pictures. And it won't focus. Oh, there's the whole dealie. shoot this with some kind of like a coating to make it look like it's painted too so that'll be cool but it looks very easy to build yeah so that's the figure from uh i mean that's the photo 
Or a picture from the ending, I think. Oh, but I don't know. I haven't seen the movie yet, unfortunately. I've only seen the TV series. But, uh, okay, let's take a look at this manual a little more clearly. So, yeah, everything goes on there. It's all in Japanese. Um, yeah. There's some jets that come out of the back. And some other stuff. It doesn't, I don't think it mentions any painting, so maybe you don't have to paint it. You could probably coat it with something like a dull coat or a gloss coat if you want. But I wouldn't go too crazy on it. It's it's basically a toy. Very small. Uh, here's my finger. It's my index finger for comparison. So that's uh, actually let me go get it. Compare something else to it. Real quick. Okay. So I found something for a point of reference. So here's a double A battery. Everyone has a good idea like how big a double A battery is, right? So it's about. I don't really know the exact dimensions of a double-A battery, but it's about two inches. So, the cruisers, that's their, that's about how big it is compared to a double-A battery. So, I'd say about maybe three inches, almost. Battleship, a little bit longer. And, uh, let's get one of the subs here. And the sub. So, yes, obviously the subs are the smallest. Now, there you go. And, uh, yes, I am munching on the gum right now. It is delicious. <laughs> I, got a, I got a couple more packets over there. But there it is. Uh, Aoki Hagane no Arpeggio. Candy box models. Yeah, we'll call them models. That's all of them. There's all the packages they come in. Very cool. So, um, I will probably build one of each class and then I will uh, take pictures and shoot another video. I'll probably do a battleship, a cruiser, and uh, a submarine. He's gonna make it out here for now. Oh well, yeah. I also wanted to mention I think I mentioned how much I paid for it. Um it was about fifty thousand not fifty thousand, five thousand yen. Which is about it's probably less than fifty. That's what, well with the exchange right now it's less than fifty dollars. So it's it's around it was around fifty bucks. If you add the, the shipping in there and all that. And I got it from Amiami. I'm sure you can get them on HLJ too, or if you're lucky, your local uh, your local um, Japanese supermarket may have them. But uh, I I can't find them. So there you go. Uh, also, uh, it's uh, made by F Toys. F Toys Confect. So F Toys, they're candy toys. There you go. But uh, yeah. Very good. If you're a fan of the show, uh, I definitely uh, get this. Or um, yeah, if you didn't, if you just wanted to get like all the collect all the ships, this is the way to get them. Even though they're very very tiny. If you wanted a bigger one, then yeah, you probably want to get like the Awashima kits and stuff. And Awashima's making a super gravity cannon version of Iona. It's supposed to come out this month actually, so. There you go. So time to put them together. All right, Hades Omega here. Uh, so it took me a long time to finish these models. Um, these are, uh, if you don't have a lot of extra time on your hands to finish these, um, yeah, they they take quite a bit. Well, it'll take uh, like an hour or two to build. But the, they're very difficult to build because the parts are so small. So here are the parts. Um, focus, focus, focus. Well, there it is. There's Haruna. I just finished Haruna last night. And then there's uh, Iona. 
There's the I-401. And then there's a Takao. And I chose these uh, plates, the the backgrounds. So I don't know. Uh, I didn't. I don't. I didn't really like this one. I kind of like this one from the from the. Um, I think that's like from the ending, or or that's a that's probably from one of the Blu-ray covers or something. And then, um, this one has the specs for her right now. There. Uh, the rest of these have the specs on it, on the characters. So well, there they are, that's what they look like when they're done. Uh, this, uh, this first comparison with the, with the Peridot um, I-401. So this is a, I think a, it's about four times as small as that, so. I don't have I don't have a Takao or Haruna model though, so I can compare it by. But uh, um, I think uh, the hardest to build out of all of them was uh, I think the Takao was e the easiest to build. Um, the parts were bigger, so they're easier to work with, and there weren't so many parts. And the uh, um, I would have said the Kur the the Haruna was uh, better, but uh, but the Haruna had a lot of parts, and it's a big chip. And then this one is small, the i four zero one. So yep, there it is. Um, and I pro I think I have like uh, seven more of them to build. So yeah, it's gonna take a while. I think I'm gonna take a break after these. But yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to do these three. Um, so, uh, one of them is a sub, one of them is a cruiser, and one of them is a battleship, and, um, that's what they look like when they're done, and uh, they, and the detail is good, they really, it's really a, a very small model that, that you put together, and when it says you have tweezers, uh, have tweezers, because <laughs> I couldn't even hold some of the parts that were so small, but, uh, I, I think that it's, they're, they're great little toys, um, I probably don't want to get them all like I did. I thought I thought it would be really easy to put them together, but they're they're not. They're full blown models. So uh, the I guess the good thing is you don't have to paint them because they're already pre painted, and the paint looks uh, looks pretty good for a little model. It's not bad. So there you go. He's a mega out. I'll probably have some better pictures. Uh, I'm sorry. I just this is what they're gonna look like in my display cabinet too. So. So I'm gonna get a Sega prize figure Iona back there. And I just this cabinet will probably be just littered with uh, ships now. <laughs> All right, here's the Miguel. All right, I just wanted to add that. Um, so this is what it looks like when you first open this thing. You'll probably see it from my from my pictures when I put them up, but. Uh, I wanted to make a little movie. So you get the sprues and um, and like the long parts of the ship. They're already painted and everything. And you just gotta cut them out. I suggest um, I suggest just cutting everything out because the, none of them are labeled. Um, yeah, none of them are labeled and there's numbers on the uh, on this guy. And you just follow the numbers. Like number one, you'll put the first one. And number two will be the next one. Number three. So you just follow the order. But uh, but uh, what I really wanted to show was these cards here. These beautiful cards. And the stand. That's what really makes this rad. You know, it's like a custom plate, custom stand. See, so it says Congo on it and everything. And it comes with these cards, different cards you can put. So you get three per uh, pack. So there's one of uh, the picture of the character. There's one with a picture and some specs, and then uh, and then like of uh, that uh, the logo, the logo for uh, for the ship. The little I don't know. There's a 
That's what I was saying. Anyway, that's that's Congo's logo right there. Though. Or a symbol. So yeah, and then basically what you'll do is uh, you'll put this here. This is the little stand that holds the, the ship up. That's the, that's the part that actually holds the ship up. And then you'll uh, what you'll do is uh, you'll put that in there, and then put this on top, and then you put the ship. And, and then this thing's kind of wobbly. I, I suppose you could glue it if you don't want it to be all wobbly like that. But uh, I just chose something loose like that. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's very nice. Uh, and then you could just like do whatever you want with other cards. I'm probably just gonna hang these up on my refrigerator or something. Pretty cool. So that's all I wanted to point out. Hades and Miguel.